Stefan remembers where he comes from and know that a lot of kids in the inner city can't afford all those expensive clothes. The community event itself helps the kids. It shows them that everybody's not out to beat them out of their money. And I just think it's a really, really good thing to see a young brother like himself doing something for them instead of taking away from them. Stefan is trying to do right, you know? The kids can afford good quality kicks. And this man's making good quality stuff and prices that everyone can afford. In my opinion, it's just the best thing anyone could do. Yeah. First of all, it stops the violence, the, the price on the sneakers. Thank you! You can't beat these prices and the quality is just as good as anywhere else. Good luck to the guy who's trying to change the world with the shoes, man, because that is the best thing to do for the children. Now we don't have to beat kids without the expensive sneakers. That's right, we love Starbucks. Live in the studio, y'all give it up. NBA superstar Stephon Marbury! Yeah. Growing up the way I grew up on food stamps, I keep telling people, you know, when you grow up in a hood and, you know, you live a certain life, and you see certain things on TV and magazines, you want those things, and we allow people to be able to go to those magazines now and say, oh, I could get that. You know what, you ever notice a lot of athletes in general, you know, when something negative goes on, it just at the top of the headlines and you get so much publicity, but very few times do they give you the deserved publicity when you do something positive. And Stevon Marbury, man, Starberry, yo, the shoes, the clothing line, man, giving it at the low, low, man. It's just incredible. I just got to take my hat off. This is what I'm going to do. All y'all, I'm going to give all y'all just a pair of sneakers and y'all can exchange it. Y'all can all buy whatever y'all want. So y'all can go on the shopping street when y'all go. That's fair? Hey, how y'all doing? 17 days, uh, uh, 38 cities, I'm sure. He's going to touch a lot of lives. In addition to Mr. Marbury signing a ball for my son and autographing it, he gave us a $250 gift card. He's not forgetting about the community and what you came from. I was just telling the kids that I wish I could buy them like a pair of shoes to get them autographed, but don't have any money. So he just gave us a $500 gift certificate. $995. Something. It was a big blow to the whole family, right. you know, I mean, nobody expected it. We thought he was going in to have normal surgery and he'd come out of it and then three months later this disease set in. There was no cure for it or anything like that. He's going to be, you know, that's the way the rest of his life. Two letters. Thanks a lot. He's doing real well and this here will just make him all that much better. Stephon Malberry donated a thousand dollars for my kids and we really love him. He too made a donation for me and my children, uh, for back to school, uh, uh, shoes and clothing, and we really appreciate it. Just want him to know that we got much love for him, and we appreciate you know what he has done for us. Thanks again, all right. We got gift cards, yeah, it was real nice. He gave them to us for <laughs> to get some, some new sneakers. Can I give you a hug? Thank you so much for what you do for us. Parents, Definitely. thank you. Thank you. God bless you. My husband just recently passed Thursday with cancer. So trying to afford, I have two boys. Tennis shoes for them and take care of it. just everyday things and then pay his medical bills. I mean, and people might not look at shoes as being a big thing, but with peer pressure and everything, it, it's a big thing. And for him to say, I want to wear these, that meant a lot to me. And it was something affordable and he could pay for it himself. That's a lot. And so my husband was proud of him. <sighs> I'm sorry, he just passed this Thursday. So it, and for him to be proud of him, and he came in and spent his own money. And so it was important for me to get him here today so that he can't get this autograph because I wanted him to know that I'm proud of him for what he did. So I, again, I just want to tell him thank you. So make sure he sees this. <laughs> tell him thank you. Try to do the best that you can. Be the best individual that you can. That's what it's about. That's how you make the world better. That's how I see it. And that's my vision and my goal. You don't find very many people like him anymore. And um, I, I don't know what to tell you. He's just great. My son's 
are getting free sneakers. I think this is so awesome. Oh my word, I would have never thought of my wildest dreams that we would come out here and be picked to get free sneakers and be interviewed. This is awesome. Some people talk the talk but don't walk the walk. Stefan talks the talk and he walks the walk. He's a remarkable young man to do this for all these children. I commend him on it. I really think it's wonderful. He's probably making so many kids out there happy. I wish more of these stars would do it. It's great for somebody like him to pass it down and let these kids enjoy something. The kids look up to him. And, I mean, you can just see there's so many kids in line, and they're so excited to meet him. I think it's an obligation if you're in the spotlight like that to give back, and he definitely does give back. I just want to commend you for doing what you're doing, man. Keep it up, seriously. You know, it's more than basketball, like you said. It's more than making money from products. It's just about giving young people the opportunity to afford nice clothes. We were standing outside, and Stefan got off the charter bus, came up, took a picture with my son, told him to come inside to chill with him for the autograph session. A lot of families not used to getting kids $100 pair of shoes. I think that's a good thing he did, and God bless him for it. That's definitely a positive thing. These right here are the new Jordans. Go pick them up. You know what I'm saying? He's not robbing the hood. He's giving it back. You know what I'm saying? As African Americans, more of us need to step up. You know what I mean? He stepped up. I have to say I love this guy. I love my man because, for one, I never in my life would thought I would be able to buy my whole team a pair of gym shoes at a low price. If it was Michael Jordan, I wouldn't be able to afford it. I got one in starting junior high school this year, and I'm going to have three in elementary. And this is a wonderful thing, and I, I, I wish more people would follow his lead. I'm a mother of four, and it's very affordable, and it helps parents in our society these days because everything is high priced, and my sons love his wear. 19 grandchildren, and I thought, oh my God, what a wonderful thing. All my grandkids are wearing strawberries this year. This is my seventh pair since I saw him, and I'll be back for school starts. Brought him like a month ago, he was wearing a nine and a half. We bring him back, he's wearing a 10. That's how it is. And I mean, that's the, like I said, it's a blessing for me. It's a true blessing for me. He's taken a couple of families and offered them unlimited shopping sprees. He stood up and handed me his credit card and told me to buy them anything they wanted. Thank you! came up here, got in line with my girlfriend and kids, and he told us to go on a shopping spree. I, amazing, I, my jaw hit the ground. Thank you very much, I truly appreciate it, me my, and my family. That guy right there is not, I mean, he's so down to earth, it's crazy. It's crazy, but I just wanna say thanks, man. Take care. Put it this way, our furnace broke down and we had a lot of money we were saving for that, and this is just a total blessing, because... This is amazing! <laughs> it's great. <laughs> How much is it? You're about the only person that got shoes out here that I can afford that look good. So I just want to say thanks for the help. I appreciate it. Oh, you got me some thousand dollars. Helps people out in need or just helps people in general. I mean, it's amazing that, you know, somebody who, who's given back to the community and it's. And it's great guy to look up to on that. And that's a good person for someone to do something like that for someone he don't even know. I'm in a dream. <laughs> Me, I'm in a dream. This is perfect. This is like a dream come true. It's very helpful. My husband's retired, so I'm the only one working, so it helps out a lot. Never had nothing like that before. It's a wonderful thing, and I love him for that, that somebody actually stepped up to actually do what he did. Financially, it's, it's just tough right now, but you know, we always make the way. We just always just keep praying and stuff. And I believe this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless. Stefan has changed their lives. 